Hello? Free call from Mitchell Blair. A prisoner at the Michigan Department of Corrections, Women's Ron Valley Facility. Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Real World Podcast family. I have a special guest on the phone, Miss Michelle Blair. For everyone who doesn't know who Michelle Blair is, Michelle Blair is the mother who was convicted of killing her son and daughter and putting them in a freezer and living in her home with these two dead bodies in the freezer. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. Okay. Just a little pissed, but I'm good. Okay. Michelle. Tell my audience yes. um, the name of your, your two children, deceased children that were in the free. Um, I don't even want to say their names. I don't okay. even want to say their names. I'm pretty sure they know their names. Okay. But, you know. Okay. Most definitely. Okay. Well, Michelle. Yeah. There's a documentary going on with your older daughter. And yeah, and I heard about that, and this is the reason why. I called you because I want to speak directly to my daughter, and I have no other avenue to speak to her. Um, and I want to talk to my son. Okay. So, which one would you like to address first? My daughter. My daughter. Okay, Michelle. Go ahead and address your okay. daughter. Okay. Okay. Okay, Gabby, I want to start by saying um, I heard about your interview that you did, and I can't take anything away from your experience. Was I a evil ass mother? I was. You talked about how I hit you with belt buckle. I did. How I chipped your tooth with a curling iron. I did. Everything is factual. I have no excuse for it. And for me to apologize to you at this point would be insult to you, Gabby. Okay? The only reason I'm calling in, like honestly, I was content to live the rest of my days in this prison until I died. I was never going to get on and do an interview or say anything else because I don't want to fan the flames for your little brother or you. I respect for you and him. But I'm going to give you everything else that you said in that interview about how horrible of a mother I am because I can't take that away from you. So I'm going to give you that validation, Gabby, because I was raised damn near the same way you were, always getting hit on just for no damn reason sometimes. Okay, and I know how that feels. You want to be heard, and you want somebody to know what happened to you. I can't take that away from you. I did that, so I'm going to validate that. I did that. There's no excuse for that. I am that monster. I did that, Gabby. Mm. But with that being said, you know me. Just like I'm your mother, I am your little brother's mother. Now, what you will not do, in my eyes, you came for your little brother on national TV, Gabby. When you said that you don't know if that happened to Matthew, when you said that you don't know, that was a slap in the face to him. Michelle. M I don't even want to be on here. I don't want to be on here talking to you like this, but we don't talk, and it's the only way I was able to do this. You know I would come back from hell to send, to descend Matthew and what happened to him. You lied, Gabby, when you said that I pressured him to say something he didn't want to say. You know that's not how that happened. So what we going to do, if you want to talk about it, we going to talk about it, honey. I didn't see that boy with no toys. I come home from work first one day, and what did you do? You the first thing running up to me. You told me, Ma, I told Stephen to go upstairs to his room because I didn't know what to do with him. I said, what that little nigga done done? You said, come see what Matthew was doing with his WrestleMan dolls. I asked Matthew when I got in the living room, what were you doing with your WrestleMan dolls, Maddie? He said, I don't want to do it. So I looked at you and I said, just tell me what he was doing. What the fuck is going on? You told me he had one WrestleMan face down and the other WrestleMan humping on the other WrestleMan. And you asked him, did anybody ever do that to you? And you told me that he said Stephen did that to him. So that's why you sent him up to his room. Because you didn't know what to do. So, what I'm saying is, on a national level, since I've been arrested, I've been having people speculate whether that even happened to my little baby. So 
So how dare you lie about how I found out that they were raping him? You didn't forget, Gabby. I know you didn't forget. And the fact that you said that I was pressuring him to say something he didn't want to say, that is bullshit. My thing is, if you would have came out and did this interview and would have never mentioned my son, I would not be on here right now. But you know me, and I do not play when it comes to that rape shit. So I guess you conveniently forgot that Maddie was the same one who led us to them bloody infant socks that they shoved up his ass to block, clog up some of the blood that was coming out of his ass, right? You forgot that? Or did you forget how he was crying and telling us what they did for him? Did you forget how he was saying he ran around in the middle of the night trying to throw shit at us to wake us up because Stephen was chasing his ass? Or did you forget after they was dead, Matthew came alive. Matthew became a whole new little boy when they died. And that is only because he didn't have to worry about getting fucked on no more in his sleep. So when I tell you that Gabby, I am sorry for everything I've ever done to you, honey, but you said in that interview that I felt remorse, you misunderstood. I don't feel remorse for killing them. I feel remorse for everything I've done to you because I was not shit as a mother. In the interview that I did in Wayne County, they asked me was I a good mother. I had too much pride to say, no, I was not. But I done dropped all that shit. I was not a good mother. Okay? But what you will not do is come for your brother on national TV. It's one thing when... Random people speculate, oh, did them kids really do that to him? That's bullshit. Gabby, you was there. You know what happened. It takes it to a whole new level. Your little brother is going to see your interview. How you think he going to feel when he sees you saying that I pressured him to say something he didn't want to say? How do you think he's going to feel when he sees you on national TV doubting what happened to him? You knew I was coming, Gabby. You knew I was not going to be quiet about this. I'm not playing about my son, and you know that. I love that boy more than anything in this earth, and you know this about me. This is why your brother and sister are dead now. I can't take nothing away from you. I am sorry I killed them in front of you. I know that shit fucked you up, and it scarred you for life. But, Gabby, I am not sorry I killed them. To my little son, I want to tell you I love you. And I remember your pain and your tears. I remember you telling me everything they did to you. I remember them admitting what they did to you. So if don't nobody else know what they did to you, Maddie, I, me, you, and God knows what happened to you. So fuck everybody else. Even if it's your sister, your auntie, your uncle, whoever is doubting what happened to you, fuck them. I know what happened to you, and you were important enough for me to kill them for what happened to you. I will never allow anybody to downplay what happened to you, little boy. You hear me? I love you so much, Matthew, and I miss you every day. And I want to go back to Gabby for a second and tell her that I wish I did not have to get on here, but I could not let this go. Gabrielle, you have the luxury of not knowing how it feels to be raped, to have somebody inside your body and you don't want them there. You have the luxury of not knowing how that feels, okay? So you do not know how it feels to be a rape victim and have someone speculate on whether it happened to you or not. You don't know how that feels. I know how that feels. I know exactly how it feels. And I will never let my son down when it comes to that issue. But far as everything else that you said in your interview, from the little bit that I hear, yes, I was an abusive ass bitch to you. You know, sometimes people who fucked up and have unresolved issues, then they start having kids without resolving those issues, sometimes they turn out to be fucked up human beings. And Gabby, it just so happened you got a mama that was a fucked up human being, and I am sorry that you had me for a mother. I am sorry. Okay, I really mean that. With you have one minute remaining. But you were wrong for what you did on that fucking television, doubting your brother on national TV. And the only reason that you said it was never proven, they never gave him a rectal exam, is what you're not saying. No one examined him. So, honey, fuck the world. That happened to my baby. And you know it happened. 
So how dare you do that on national TV to that boy? I'm going to defend him to the end. 